spring break. It is such beautiful weather right now. Got my frames on, got my fossil watch. You know it's gonna be a good Comment down below and tell me what some things you did in Memphis. Um, I want to go to the Silver Rights Museum, but actually I'm kind of running short on time, so I may have to just cancel that. I'm going to the Memphis Zoo probably as well, so that would be fun. I gotta go to my mall stores, like I told y'all before. Um, also eat some barbecue. I'm just re saying everything I said before. So comment down below if you've ate at a barbecue restaurant in Memphis and tell me what the restaurant was. Because I have three options and I'm going to see which one's the best. And yeah, I people use a lot of hand gestures, so don't mind this makeup. First, I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills matte lipstick. It's in Spice and I feel spicy with it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm wearing that Spice lipstick. Also, I have my Morphe eyeshadow on and I have some gold eyeshadow in my crease a little bit. Um, a little slight contour in my nose area. My eyebrows are a different story, but we're not going to talk about that because that's a story time from a different day. I have eyebrow ladies trust issues, so that's how that goes. But yeah, um, makeup look. I may have to reapply a little of this later. I was going to top it off with some liquid gloss. But I realized it looked pretty good without it, so I'm not using it. A little wet, wavy Brazilian hair. And I'm in here. So I'll talk to y'all in a minute when I get back on here. crossing the street these people out here be driving crazy they don't care about nobody's life but we're finna find a restaurant to go to and just sit down at the rooftop this is a beautiful day it is a little cold out here but you know i can maintain i got my little jacket in the car just in case it gets too cold but yeah it's a beautiful day it's spring so loving it here's a rooftop place I'm gonna go in there and see what they're got going on. Restaurant called Lafayette. Lafayette. It sounds Cajun and Creole. But I'm just gonna get me a drink and we're probably gonna eat some barbecue somewhere later. Because you know I'm not gonna forget about that barbecue. But I got one of these um, menus. So I'm gonna choose from that. My lashes is coming off and I don't have no glue. So, oh well. What they won't see won't hurt them. So look at that, it looks embarrassing. If I take this one off, this one's fine. If I take this one off, it's just gonna it's just gonna ruin my whole look. But yeah. Um this is their menu. We got small plates, green and gumbo, sliders. I may get an appetizer or something, but yeah. Anyways, um well, we left Lafayette and my drink was ten dollars and it wasn't even crushed like I like it. And the other drink we got was $10 and we could have got something simpler. Oh, Chicago. I felt she highly requested rendezvous. They have a barbecue that's out of this world. And you have to really walk down the alley to get to the restaurant. But um, this is what I got. I got the, y'all probably can't see, I got the pork and shoulder combination. And other words, um, ribs and pulled pork. So I'm excited about that. But this is how it looks, y'all. Look, this is dry rub right now, but I'm gonna add my sauce to it. It's gonna go down. One baked bean down. One more to go. And this is some coleslaw, y'all. It looks kind of funny, but everything else looks good, though. So I drove to the venue where the little um, show is for her and Marsha and Brocious. And we're here like a whole hour early. So we're literally sitting in a car waiting because it looks like parking is getting full. And there's no point of us driving off and losing our parking spot when we're literally right out the door. That's the place right here. We're literally right there. And it's currently. 727 the doors open at 8 so we're gonna just sit here and wait until the doors open uh we were gonna go in and try to get some food or something again or something small just to be in there but the doors are locked 
And on the way over here, uh, it lit GPS literally took us through a neighborhood. And I was like, oh, my God. What if this is at somebody's house? Because Marsha and Brocia, she's not really a big artist. She's kind of a smaller artist. But I do know who she is. And others do, too. She's not as big as, like, Keisha Cole and Nicki Minaj, something like that. But, you know. So I was like, what if this is at somebody's house, y'all? So luckily, it was at some type of, like, um, it's called Chardonnay Bistro Wine and Bar. So it should be a good little um, setup and stuff like that. So we'll see how that goes. I hope I have fun. I hope I don't. I didn't waste my money on this show. So we'll like, see. What is it? BMW or a Mercedes like truck slash van thing? The one that um, Ti kids something like that. They, the one they drive on and ride in. I saw one of those swoop around the neighborhood. We were stuck in, and I was like, Why is a big SUV like Benz in the neighborhood driving fast? I said, some like family just got dropped off near here. So we kept driving around and we found the place where the um, show is going to be. So we were just waiting and waiting and waiting. I can film in there and I'm going to see the setup. But right now, I don't have any light on in this car. But this is just street lights and just building lights. And it don't look too bad. Y'all still can see me pretty good, right? So yeah. Um, um, I'll see how the scene is in there to see if I can film or whatever. Wait, somebody's walking towards there. Somebody just limped towards the place. I don't know. Maybe she's going to the nail shop. I'm being nosy, but she limping towards the place that the artist is at. I'm nosy. We're people watching right now. But, yeah, um, I'll probably get back on here if I find something interesting or I can get some good so I went up there right at 8. They said the doors open at 8. So I walked up there at 8. And literally, they was setting up inside. I said, is this where the concert is, the show is? They said, yeah, this is where it is, but we're not ready yet. I said, so what time y'all going to be starting? He said, I said, closer to 930. He was like, yeah, I guess 930. What you mean, I guess 930? I paid for these tickets, so y'all need to get to starting now. Period. Like, why am I have to wait longer than what I paid for? Like, really? I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I had a good time in Memphis. And if you have any questions, any more suggestions of other places I should go for spring break or this summer, leave it and comment down below. If you like my content, just click the subscribe button so you can see more. You know, just that simple. Press the subscribe button. Like, comment, share, all that. And I will see you in my next video.